Okay, the car came in with two dead cylinders. Thought the, the head gasket was blown between the two cylinders. Pulled the heads. Head gasket didn't look blown, but okay, we'll go along with that. Well, we were leaking compression through the intake. It was it was not happening. With it, it, it wasn't sealing somehow. So let's go back over the intake. Okay. When the car came in, I noticed that this piece of linkage was missing that connects this front butterfly to the rear butterfly. And, okay, it's missing. Well, we'll put a new piece of, uh, <coughs> new, new keepers on it, okay? And it goes in here, like that, and like that. Now, what this does, there's an actuator that opens this side and it runs the other side at the same time with the linkage. So, if this thing doesn't open, this, these cylinders, these intake ports don't get the fuel mixture that they should. When you don't get that, it's called a lean condition. Lean condition makes things hot. Hot makes things wear. So what it did was it wore the valves, it burnt, made the valves burn in deeper to where the one that was okay, we're going to measure it, it's an inch and three quarters to the straight edge. The one that the butterfly didn't open is sticking up higher. It's an inch and five eighths. It's an eighth of an inch higher on this one than that one. Mm. Same thing here. Inch and three quarters, inch and five eighths, all the way across. Right. The rear head, everything was uniform. Inch and three quarters, all the way across. Mm -hmm. So I had to come back to here and think, wow, what's going on? Right. That's how I discovered that that linkage falling off, mm -hmm. kept that butterfly shut, made these three cylinders lean out on half of it, past 3,500 RPMs, and in time, the seat lessened and the valve got longer. Hmm. It, got, it went up into the cylinder more. So therefore, the hydraulic part, the hydraulic lash adjuster could not make up the difference anymore, and it was holding those valves open. Right. Let's flip it and see the aware of the valves in question. Well, that was the toughie, but we can do that. The head, the valves have... Oh, turn this around. Valves have a, a ride height, and there's a big lip on them. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is real thin. If you can see the difference, this one's got pretty good, and this one's real thin. Now, here's a, here's a hint. This one's black. This one's tan. Black, tan, black, black. This higher, this cylinder was still firing. This is the two that were in question. They were not closed. So you can see they've gotten hotter. They're, yes. they're tan color. And if you notice, they're barely, you can barely get your fingernail caught on that. Where the other ones, you've got more of a lip on it. You can, you can catch it with your fingernail. So it's burned into the, it's burned into the seat. And seated deeper. And seated, it makes it longer. The cam was holding it open. Gotcha. It's not a head gasket. It's not a vacuum problem. It's not an oil pressure problem. It's not an oil pressure problem, which we tried everything. Right. And at 3.30 this morning, I figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Woo-hoo-wee! Yep. That's Beautiful. What That's what it was. Thank you, sir. Amen.